Ooh, what a day. Holy crap. Um, so I got up early and like booked it to go to Snow Summit. Um, we have a race here in San Bernardino, California, ATV race this weekend. And we didn't really have anything going on Friday. There's like motocross practice, but I'd rather go ride my mountain bike. And so I boogied over to Snow Summit and rode there the whole day. And it was cool because my friends from um, NorCal came down. They're racing the uh, US Open Enduro and uh, trying to get points for our team. Women, the MTB experience, it's all women's team. Um, but uh, anyway, had a blast. Feeling really good on the bike right now. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling solid. Like we went through a couple of sections that in the past I've struggled with and I had to like kind of double check with myself that that was even that section because I just, I went through it so smooth. So uh, it was a good day on the bike. Really digging the pivot. I'm gonna go get something to eat by myself. <laughs> anyway, I don't feel like going out because uh, not because I'm afraid to eat by myself. That does not bother me. You will see me at a restaurant. Party of one. I have no shame. I don't care. Judge me. Um, but it's the traffic. Like, I might see what the hotel um, restaurant offers or I saw a Sizzler across the street. Not my favorite, but when you're hungry, you're hungry. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoy whatever comes of this. It's probably just going to be like a collage of videos. I'm not going to like break down the trails one by one. So, it'll be like Summit Bike Park Friday the 13th. Boom. All right, guys. Thumbs up. Subscribe. All right, guys, directly in front of me is Jenny Wages. She is the co-owner of MTB Experience. She is riding a Fazari LaSalle Peak, I believe is what the, the model is. But uh, anyway, if you're looking for some women's mountain bike retreats and clinics, be sure to uh, look up MTB Experience. Normally you would uh, enter from right here where I just looked, that jump is called Hot Donna, and I learned that from MTB Allen. How cool is that? Uh, hopefully be able to hit that uh, oh, this, this season <laughs> if this coronavirus disappears. Uh, so let's hope and uh, pray for that, guys. I can actually remember last year, the first time I hit this trail, that section sketched me out so much. In fact, it was Jenny who towed me in through it. It was, I think it was both of our first times hitting the trail, but uh, so rad. I'm happy to uh, be making progress on this trail. Still got a long way to go. So I actually hit my bash guard right there. I should have taken Jenny's line. She definitely had the better better eye there. So Kim is in front of Jenny. She is also part of the MTB Experience crew. I met her in Moab, I think, two years ago, the same time as I met Johnny. Um, fell in love with the whole uh, MTB Experience crew. Always enjoy getting to go and ride places with them. Uh, this is her first time at Snow Summit and on Miracle Mile, and it's so rad to see just how well she adapts to the unknown. If you're not familiar with Snow Summit, Miracle Mile is considered their Black Diamond downhill course. Um, although they did just recently, uh, I think in this, the 2019 season, opened up their newest, which is 10 ply. But this, this was typically the downhill course for most of the races that came to, uh, to Big Bear.
Oops. <laughs> yeah. You know, initially I was thinking, oh crap, we missed it, but that was actually pretty smooth. Um, I'm not sure which is technically faster, but I actually liked that, uh, that line that Kim took. So we pull off here real quick and just kind of regroup and then uh, take back off. Are you sure? I think one of the biggest things I struggle with on Miracle Mile in particular is the pressure that I put on myself about worrying about the people coming up behind me or whether they're there or not. It's just always there. And so a little bit later in this, there's a section that I have yet to clean. And it's always been an issue because there's always somebody right behind me at that moment. So I think in the future, I just need to pull over and try to wait. But the, the thing with that is, is there's really never a clear shot on this damn trail. This next bit is kind of flowy. There's nothing too technical. There is one section up ahead um, after you get through these trees or into the trees where it kind of drops down. But after that, it's just a lot of flowy stuff. And then we're sort of approaching the switchback bridge that I also had issues with, but so did Jenny. It was just kind of like a mental thing. Like if you go too slow, you'll slide down. Um, and I just always had these like visions of flying off out into the abyss, but yeah, so that section's coming up here. All right, the Sharpie wood turny thing is coming up. Um, it's so awesome how easy she hit this when it was such a mental block last year. <laughs> and then of course I was waiting to cheer because I was like focused on making it myself. Uh, yeah, it's so awesome. It's so crazy the things that we, we let get in our head. Speaking of which, my mental block section is coming up uh, not uh, very far from here, a couple of corners. I, it's, I can't believe I can't get this. It's, it's well within my wheelhouse, but... <sighs> Sorry, whoever's behind me. I wish I would have just pulled over and let them by. Uh, the section I was talking about earlier is right here. Oh, it's such I a cluster part. for me. Oh, sorry. I suck at this part. I get freaked out about people being behind me. Initiate launch sequence. When I say I get freaked out about people being behind me, it's more in a section where it might be technical or I'm not confident at my ability or, uh, you know, my ability to clean the section. And so then I'm like, ah, I'm like freaking out that I might be in their way, holding them up. 
you know, just just embarrassed is the best way to describe it. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that and that you're still watching. If so, I love your face. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time.